guys, it's Ray from Everjewel Sky, and today I wanted to kind of show you an easy fix on how to fix a water damaged laptop. It really can be any laptop. This is just the one that my son spilled juice on because, you know, he's nine. Um, so this is actually the new one already. I've already fixed it and I donated um, the old one, which looked exactly identical, um, to a local high school that has a program um, that teaches high school students, you know, how to pass A+, plus, etc., and hardware, things like that. So this is not the first laptop that he has spilled water on. This is just the first one that I've decided to fix. So it was all over the keyboard, right? Wouldn't turn on, anything like that. So what I did was, at first I took it to a shop because I didn't want to mess with it. I kind of, hold on, let me put this down. Uh, okay. So I didn't want to mess with it. So I decided to um, take it somewhere, and when I took it somewhere, they said it wasn't worth the money, like they couldn't fix it, I might as well just buy one from their shop, and I was just like, okay, sure, whatever. He's like, not interested in it. So I brought it, you know, back to the house. I didn't spend any money fix getting it fixed, um, so... I went on eBay and I found the um, computer that had that was exactly the same model. It didn't come with a battery, it didn't come with a hard drive, and it didn't come with any RAM. That's perfectly fine because I had all those things and those were not water damaged. So all you have to do is if your motherboard is water damaged, um, you know, not like soaked in water, but it got water on it where it's not functioning. Just I this only cost me seventy bucks. Seventy dollars for this. It would have it if they would have taken it to the shop. They would have charged me fifty dollars plus the seven fifty dollars in labor plus the seventy to fix it. It's not worth it. All you have to do keep your battery. Don't ever get rid of a laptop because they always have RAM. This is what you want, by the way. Um, and your hard drive, which is everything. My hard drive is still perfect. So um, my son plays Roblox on on it and Minecraft. So. Um, it's super easy to replace RAM. Let's say you have like a slower computer. You probably don't even know how much RAM you have. Um, this one's eight gigabytes total, so it's four per stick. And it's super easy, like all laptops should really be um, upgraded. Their RAM should be upgraded because out of the box, it just doesn't come with enough RAM. So that's all I did. All you have to do is take these screws out. I'm not going to do it now because I um, don't really feel like it. So take these screws out. Take the um, If you have an old hard drive, take that out and just replace it back on the new computer. It's very simple, very swap. Those are the three things that you got to replace. The battery, the RAM, and the hard drive. And once it turns on, it turned on and it was like the old computer, like instantly. And um, I did... This is also the story can go horribly, horribly wrong because I did take it to, I did take the other computer that my son um, water damaged last year. And let, let me get it out for you guys real quick. Right here. It's a Lenovo, right? And. I did take it to a shop because I also didn't want to mess with it. They charged me $50 to diagnose it. They thought that they could fix it. They couldn't fix it, right? No harm against them. I tried it. You know, there was a chance. This one's a little bit harder because I have to um, take all the screws out um, to show you inside. But it's pretty much the same kind of basic architecture. Also, always, you know, upgrade your RAM. And um, so when I got my computer back, you know, <laughs> the RAM was missing from from the computer store. And, you know, I messaged them. I said, hey, my, my RAM is missing. It looks like this, which is identical to the RAM I have in here because I upgraded it. So, like, 
they're like, oh, we don't have your RAM. We can't find it. I'm like, what do you mean? I just dropped it off like yesterday. It's got to be somewhere. Why would you even like, anyways, not going to get into it. I got my RAM back. It was like an ordeal. It wasn't my RAM, by the way. It wasn't a brand new RAM that I had bought last year that matched this one. Um, it was some other brand RAM that I got, but I needed my 8 gigabytes back. Um, so they, they gave it to me. I haven't installed it yet because I haven't bought, this is still my old Lenovo. I haven't bought a new chassis for it or, you know, and, um, so I haven't replaced the RAM sticks, but it's so easy. You can go on Amazon, get some RAM, making com your computer better, faster, stronger. But if you, you know, if your computer's like, this computer, this kind of computer is extremely old, but with just very minimal things on the hard drive, has 500 gigabytes, um, and eight gigabytes of RAM, it runs perfect. That's all you need. It's gonna be fast. So what I recommend if you, you know, if you spilled some water on it, it kind of isn't turning on anymore, won't charge, all that. Go on eBay, um, go on, on the sites that show that they're tested, working, they just don't come with battery, RAM, hard drive, which is what you already have. Um, so that's pretty much because your hard drive has your operating system on it. So um, so it's it's still exactly the same. The hard drive is really just what you what you need plus the RAM battery. But it's just easier when you match the laptop to the laptop you have because the motherboard is all is the same model. So you don't have to like reinstall the drivers. I mean, you you can do all that, but it would start to get a little bit complicated if you're just like novice or beginner. Um, so yeah, this is definitely what I recommend. My son uses this now all the time. Like oh and. I just, I don't allow him to use this. I make him use a keyboard and mouse now, and I that's wireless, and I keep this by his um, TV, which I, you know, I plug in using HDMI cable or VGA, because it has a VGA spot. So yeah, that way, no water in any way or snacks gets on top of this, because this is a result of what happens when I give a child a laptop. All right, well, hope that helped you guys. And um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave some comments down below. Um, press like and subscribe.